Hi, I'm Melissa Shannon from DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com and I'm here to show you how you can add selective recolouring to a photograph in Photoshop Elements. The first thing I'm going to do before editing this photograph is save it as a PSD file. That way we'll be able to um, keep our original photograph. Then I right mouse button click and duplicate the layer. I'm going to convert this photograph to black and white and then add the red for the car and the flowers in colour as that's what the bride and groom have requested. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Rad Lab to create a cool black and white effect. I think I'll go for the Vario black and white and click finish and then using the mask that's built in, I'm going to paint away the areas that I don't want included. So I'm going to get my brush and set it to a hard round brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my black is my background colour and then I'm going to use the quick select tool on the coloured layer I'll turn this black and white off for now and I'm just going to drag over the areas of the red car. Just going to select them all like dragging. If I include something I don't want in colour I'll just hold down the Alt key or Option to remove that from the selection. Keep dragging to add various parts. We go. So all the red of the car just zoom in and add the last couple of parts. And this little bit here. There we have it. Now I'm going to go back on and turn on my black and white layer. And I'm going to click on the mask here. I'm just going to press delete. And that has um, created black in my mask so that my car can come through. Now I'm going to use my paintbrush. I'll make it black there and I'm just going to use my paintbrush to paint in the last few parts that have missed out on the colouring. And I use white to paint out parts that shouldn't have been coloured. Let's have a look. The red's looking pretty good. Now we'll do the same for the for the flowers. I'm just going to use my quick select tool on the coloured layer, selecting the flowers and the leaves and the stems there. And I'll zoom in and just add a couple of straggly bits. Now we'll go back, we'll turn on our black and white layer, we'll click on the mask, making sure black is our background colour, we press delete and then the flowers are now in colour. So I press Control D or Command D to uh, select. I'm going to use my paintbrush again to just paint away any less colour there, that's all looking pretty good. And we have it, a beautiful photograph, black and white, and some selective recolouring. Visit digitalscrapbookinghq.com for more tips, tutorials and free online workshops.